Hello, I'm David Boyer, Danfoss Service Training Coordinator, here to explain how to use the check valve ramp time. Please take a moment now to pause the video to read the safety warnings shown here. Failure to follow these warnings could result in death or serious injury. Okay, check valve ramp time. Sometimes if you're commissioning a system that has a check valve, when it gets near to the speed at which the check valve activates, you want to really go easy with your ramping right through that region and, and nowhere else. I'll show you how to set that up. Okay, here's what I've got set up. I've got the drive keypad. I got the MCT10 scope folder set up so that we can see what's going on. It's going to show us the drive frequency. Here are the parameters involved. Your normal ramp up and ramp down times. That's the time it takes to get from 0 hertz up to 60. That's the time it would take to get from 60 hertz back down to 0. While ramping down, it'll follow this rate until it reaches the motor speed low limit, at which time it changes over to the check valve ramp time. That's the time it'll take to get from the motor speed low limit to the check valve ramp end speed. Let's see how it looks. Give it a start command. We're ramping up to 60 hertz following our five second ramp up time. Give it a stop command. It begins ramping down at this rate, eight seconds. Once it reaches 30 hertz, it switches over to the end ramp and takes six seconds to get from 30 hertz down to 15 and then resumes that eight second pace. Let's look at our cursors. So this is 60 hertz. If it takes eight seconds to get from 60 to zero, it should take about four seconds to get from 60 down to 30. And then we have here our check valve ramp time. We said uh, give us six seconds, that's about what it is, to get from 30 hertz down to 15 and then from 15 down to zero. That should be about a fourth of eight, right? About two seconds, there you go. Now sometimes when you're using this, you might also need a final ramp time, like say for example on a submersible pump. That final ramp you want to be very quick. Let's set that up and see how it works. I'm just gonna go in here to the drive to our other ramps and make the final ramp time one second. Okay, once again, we'll give a start command. Take five seconds to get up to 60 hertz. Stop command. Eight second ramp down pace. Reaches 30 hertz, it switches to six seconds to get down to 15. And then it takes one second for that final ramp. That's all there is to it. That's it, thank you for listening. Thank you for viewing. We hope this information has been helpful. Danfoss Drives can provide additional technical support, parts information, or repair services options by contacting us through one of the following methods. For immediate access to customer service or a technical support expert in North America, call 1-888-DANFOSS or 1-888-326-3677 or contact us through email. For technical support, the email address is drives.ts.na at danfoss.com. For customer service, the email address is drives.cs.na at danfoss.com. For after sales service, the email address is drives.ts.service.na at danfoss.com. Additional information is also available on our website at www.danfossdrives.com. For contact information in areas outside of North America, please visit our global website at www.danfoss.com. Thanks again.